Hey everybody, it's Nerf Boy Productions here, and today I want to show you guys my ultimate Nerf and Strike Elite loadout. So if you guys saw my loadout video that I did one or two years ago, anyways, it's really old. I used the Death Shot in that video, so it's pretty outdated, and that's End Strike stuff. And um, I figured it's time to update that because it's not exactly what I roll with anymore. So let's change it up and show you what I use now. So this isn't exactly 100% what I use every single time. It changes up between different wars and whatnot. But uh, on a general average basis, this is something that works really well for me, and yeah. So let's start out with my primary weapon. So this is what the primary looks like from, you know, just from your standard point of view. So both sides and whatnot. So now let's uh, break it down and see everything it's made of. All right, so the base blaster is a strife because well, they're small, cheap, and affordable, and uh, they actually go pretty well and they perform really well. They have stock attachment points, barrel attachment points, and lots of tack rails, which allows for, you know, customization beyond belief, so that's awesome. And then the, um, I kind of lied when I said Nerf and Strike Elite, because some of the, this is, I guess, the only thing that isn't, but this is a long strike barrel, so it's uh, part of the end strike line, but it looks cool with everything else, so deal with it. Okay, and then the stock I use for it is a stockade stock, and there's a reason for that which I will mention in a moment, and it has to do with my secondary weapon, but also it's way more comfortable than anything else they have for the Elite line, and uh, it, I just like the way it feels, and it holds 10 darts as well, so that's helpful. So then for the sight, I just use a small slim profile sight, the long strike sight. This is the foregrip I use on the Strife, and I put it on the second tactical rail right here, and it's just a retaliator foregrip. And then for show, I use a 10 dart banana clip because look at how cool that looks. Um, for practicality reasons, I would probably most likely use 18 dart clips and just hold a bunch of those on me, but I mean, come on, they, banana clips look so cool, I had to do this. And uh, that's basically it. So some of the reasons I chose this thing, um, it looks really cool. Also, it's clip system, so that's really awesome, and you can change it up, and uh, it's still small enough that you can maneuver around. It's not a big rifle, something more like a rapid strike. It's uh, slim and um, it really works really well, I guess. Also, it's just really simple to take off the barrel so that if you want, all of a sudden you have this really maneuverable, small type blaster that's really effective as well. Okay, so moving on to my secondary weapon, I use a, this is, happens to be the XD, but this is the Elite Triad EX3. They're really sweet, they're like jolt times three. And um, basically, if you don't know them, they hold three darts, prime it through the bottom, so you prime it, take a shot, it'll fire one, fire another, fire the third. What happened there? Anyways, so that is what, that's, that's the triad. And then, of course, you do know the triad, and that leads me to the stockade. Going back to here, I use the stockade stock because I can hold ten darts in there, which actually allows me to fill up this guy a bunch of times three times so that uh, you know I can do that and then apart from that it's basically just holding other clips on me and uh, it basically all depends on the war type if it's something long a big scrimmage then you know I'll carry a bunch but if it's a quick quick games like capture the flag or whatever I'll maybe carry one maybe two extras on me as well as the one in here and that's basically it so I know this was a little bit of a quick video but it's something I haven't done in a really long time and I figured like I needed to do it and uh, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit shorter uh, than some of the other ones that I've done, but I figured like it was something that needed to be done because my previous loadout video was very outdated and not entirely whatsoever what I use now. So that's why I've done this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to hit that like button down below because it really helps out. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.